Okay, so today is 7-5-1-24. Yeah, I always write down the to know which, um, I guess moon it is. This is the full black moon. So, yes, I guess July is the time that deers, deer are getting their antlers, um, I guess I'll write my name so that the goddess knows who this is, who's writing, or whatever anti power, whatever is doing this. It's a shamanic tradition, it's been done for a really, really long time, so it must mean something. I don't, I don't know exactly which god it's going to, but whatever, it's good to recognize the seasons or uh, write things down. It's, like in this, my um, abnormal psych class, I said writing things down is one of the best best um, ways to cope with, uh, I guess, anxiety or Russian. And um, so I'm sure like journaling is definitely beneficial in some way. So first thing I want less of since today is the full moon and it's going to decrease from now on. Things I want to decrease in life. Violence always. Because, um, yeah, so much brutality and, um, it's been going on for so long that, uh, certain cultures are very desensitized to it or, like, even within the United States, it just, it's so complex that people become desensitized to it, and um, they just figure it's normal and standard protocol, as if it's necessary. And some people actually think the violence is medically necessary, but no, it's um, less. numbness so less being disconnected to the um i guess sensory the stimulants around you because i feel if more humans were more like attuned or more sensitive to the any um stimulus around them whether that be sight or whatever it would definitely um, people can be more connected with, um, to other people or to other, I guess, whatever intricacies, interconnected relationships or subtleties the universe or the cosmos is trying to teach us. And I was just reading that, um, like, a lot of parents will try to teach their children about thin ice, like how... When you walk on frozen water, like water that's been turned to ice, well, sometimes you it's safe to walk on because it's thicker, but like then, well, of course, there's a thin ice that you would fall through, and uh, you wanna wanna know which um to be able to tell which ice is too thin, so. And having better senses would definitely help that. Um, three, yeah, what, what else do you want less of? Um, violence, numbness. Tradition. Because so many of these violent things continue to go on just because people say, well, a tradition has been done for so long that like, it must be right. So, um, and I disagree with that.
Second Edition don't want to just do the same thing over and over again. I'm sure that's what artists are always trying to not just keep repeating yourself. Oh. Definitely less fixation and all people can get stuck to stuck on a certain habit or they'll get in a rut and they know this is more common feature of males or well it's masculine characteristic or well. I guess this isn't true for everyone. I mean, these are just general rules. Like, it's definitely not going to be true for everyone in every situation. I mean, this is thinking in more of a fluid way and not a concrete way. So. Yes, I want less violence, numbness, tradition, stagnation. Um, I, I want people to be more apt, be more capable of putting things in perspective, or viewing things from someone else's perspective, not always thinking about their own, I guess, their own perspective and, you know, seeing things in relative terms. I think people should take things more relatively, not overgeneralizing. So, yes, let's just, let's disproportionality. So, seeing things in more of a no one's perspective, realizing that it's not, it's just a general, general rule, or maybe it's true in, uh, one country, but you don't don't expect it to be true across all of humanity. Cause sometimes just only one country. It's, it's not just true of all humans. So seven. Let's see what do we want to decrease. Hmm. Uh, I thought I want more, um, more abundance, so I thought of the opposite of abundance. The opposite of abundance is scarcity, and, um, so to just make more available resources for everyone I know. That right now, a lot of people have really remind you that, um, the middle class is shrinking and, um, you know, the, so the disparity between, like, the haves and the have-nots, well, there's a smaller group of people who have enormous, like, crazy, insane wealth and people who have a lot of extra stuff that they don't really need, but things that make them happy, like luxury and then there's people who have less. So less ignorance, people, uh, less ignorance won't be able to just be more aware and um, recognize that these aren't just for me, it's also for I guess all of humanity and um, ignorance is not really helping anyone and I know a lot of it could be uh, because of just how you were raised, the culture you were raised in, because some cultures like, like even in most religions I know, like their writings by maybe rabbis or whatever is their term for the whoever is the spiritual authority in that tradition and okay maybe like multiple there are some rabbis that have ratings that 
contradict other rabbis or so they'll kind of they'll only teach you about the ones that agree with their agenda not like they'll try to hide the other information from you if it if it disagrees with them or it's part of a different agenda Definitely less anxiety because it's not helping anyone in the, in the 21st century with like overstimulation, I guess, can um, uh, really, it's, I'm seeing more and more people, it's affecting a lot of people, like it's a pandemic, epidemic, pretty much. Anxiety, um, well, I guess. It could be warning you about uh, future problems, future threats, and so maybe it does have some some value. I mean, definitely not. Um, anxiety is generally not seen as a good thing, but whatever. Um, less. Disappointment. I mean, I was gonna put regret for the last one, but um, I just disappointment seemed to be more over encompassing, all encompassing. Like, whenever there you get back the results from any kind of test or uh, any kind of test or um. Even, yeah, the results from any decision or whatever, if you are unsatisfied with the results, that's, well, both regret and disappointment, so, um, I guess regret is a stronger word, but, um, whatever, so, of course we need to decorate this, fill up the empty space, so, um, That's the sigil for an Alembic of, you know, alchemy is a water distillation, purifying water. It's good to drink water that's, you know, as, and that's not just a clean, clean water. Mm -hmm. It's not just fun. Do you believe that's that's a sigil for copper? So I don't really have any um specific connection to copper, but it's definitely I mean something. I mean, I think it's a relatively strong metal and whatever, and that's there because. Hmm. Gonna have to make another one of these some other time in this this video because um I guess this one was kind of close to the edge wasn't that easy but whatever it just random sign that I see in meditation a lot and if anyone knows what it's supposed to mean um tell me because like I can't figure that out.
So, yeah, I think yeah. All thing I is, um, pretty common thing, and let's see, I haven't even put in any Egyptian stuff yet. Onk and um, let's see. The eye of raw is um. I believe this is, I believe this is accurate, but maybe not, um, I guess intention is what matters, but, uh, so Egypt comes again and again, and so, like, it all goes back to Egypt, um, the Egyptian society has the most stories of, like, magical abilities or, Otherworldly experiences, otherworldly travels, and actually the oldest form of um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice story, the, you know, Fantasia with Nikki and the brooms, and mean the brooms, that's actually the oldest version of the story, like, you know, the whole Sorcerer's Apprentice story has been repeated many, many times throughout history, some in the 1700s, some in the 1800s. So in the 1900s and um, the ones from Italy and India and Russia and Germany and lots of other places. So we'll have different variations. That's the sigil for platinum. That's the sun, or be more more notable as the um, Target symbol, you know, of the Target brand stores, which I'm sure a lot of people are more familiar with that, and but. You know, this is way older, it's alchemical, so it's from the Middle Ages, and, uh, I'm pretty sure the Target store was not around in the Middle Ages, so, this is the original, um, so I guess that fills up that page, um, and before we run out of, um, room or anything. I definitely want to create have to create one of these my dust star. So you always have to have one of these because I don't know because I can because it generally represents abundance and Yes, proliferation and prosperity, but I just, I now have the ability, there, there was definitely a time where I couldn't really figure out how to trace this, or when I didn't know, know about it, but now I do, so. So I think it's good to have.
And this one too is also too close to the edge, but um, guess it's all about tension, so, and tension, so um, take that for whatever that means, uh, So this is, um, Koshalan, uh, Reiki symbol, which means something, but, uh, I mean, from looking at it, the impression, I guess, lightning in a bottle, but I don't know, it's, um, let's see. Um, that's Halu, or it looks close enough. Um, And then this, I don't know its name, but it means something, you know, I've seen that before, so, yeah, it means something, um, let's see here, are there any more symbols, uh, yes. Okay, that's the sigil for Anael, the demon of lust, and, um, well, I've heard Anael, some sources, call it an angel, some call it a demon, so, I'm sure a lot of them can just be seen as, like, I'm sure it's the Puritans of, um, especially in Victorian England, lust was a demon, and, but I think in the, um, any tantric yogis in, um, like India or Bangladesh or wherever, or, um, lust would be seen as an angel or Shakti. I think they would call it Shakti, because Shakti is like a driving force and, um, Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can fit in, if I can squeeze in one more sigil. This is smaller than I usually make them. Exusha, so, this is Exusha, so the God's Eye. And again, awareness, I said I want less ignorance, so just, you know, being aware and, uh, 
think I can fit one more in here. So I forget the name of this one exactly. It might be Omnixia, um, but I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, that is my uh, July 21st full book moon. Um, I guess I forgot to say, dear moon goddess, please remove. Um, so. Uh, but I guess that's close enough. Maybe I'll add that in later. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Disappointment, anxiety, ignorance, scarcity, disappointment, fixation, stagnation, tradition, numbness, violence. Get the picture. Thanks for watching.